Okay, let's say you imagine you see yourself in the exam hall for the first time. You see yourself in the exam hall. Which of these two questions are you going to solve if you actually choose one? Please tell me in the comment section the one you would like to solve for the very first time. And also tell me the reason why you would choose that question. But before that, personally, I'm going to choose number two. Let me show you how I solve it. All right, in this case, I am going to, okay, group them two by two. Remember, I'm going to group them two by two. I'll factorize these two and also factorize these two. So I'm going to have x raised to power four, bracket open. So out of the six, I've taken four out. What is remaining two? So this is going to be x raised to power two minus one. This is the first one. This is going to be, um, oh, this is going to be one all over x raised to power two x raised to power 2 minus 1 equal to 0. So I am just factoring them. If you look at this, if I open this bracket, I'll still get the formal equation, the original equation. So this time this is this, this time this is still there. So everything is fine. For that reason, I'm going to say that x raised to power 4 minus 1 and also x raised to power 2 minus 1 equal to 0. At this point, I'm going to apply the difference of two squares. The difference of two squares. So for this, I'm going to have x raised to power 2 all raised to power 2 minus 1. All right? Then this one, I'm going to have x raised to power plus 1, x minus 1. Do you know why? Because this is difference of two squares. And you know what is difference of two squares. Look at this. If you have x raised to power 2 minus y raised to power 2, to factorize this thing, you're going to take the first one, x, take minus y, close it in a bracket, then go again, take the first one, x, then take plus now, put the second one, close it. We call it difference of two squares. But the same thing you will know is that this one is same thing as square. So in that case, I took the first one, x, then plus. Whether you took the one that has minus first or the one that has plus first, it doesn't change anything. It's still the same thing. So that is how I have this. In this case, I'm still going to construct this four to be in two because everything in the bracket does not matter. Everything in the bracket, what matters is that it is raised to the power of two. So this is also raised to the power of two. So I'm going to conclude by saying, remember, it is raised to the power of zero. So I'm going to go for that to say, x raised to the power of two plus one, and that is x raised to the power of two minus one. So then, bracket x plus one, x minus one, all equal to zero. So at this point, I am going to have everything is equal to zero. Therefore, this is going to be x squared plus one equal to zero, or x squared minus one equal to zero, or x plus one equal to zero, or x minus one equal to zero x raised to power 2 plus 1 equal to 0. This is x raised to power 2 is equal to minus 1. This is going to be complex root because this value is a complex number. Because you are going to have x is equal to square root of minus 1, which is i. So, so that is why it's a complex root. So there is no real root in this one. But this one I'm going to have x is equal to plus 1 or minus 1. Because when this one, this 2 crosses out, it becomes a root. This one is also going to be x is equal to minus 1. And this one is going to be x is equal to 1. So the whole expression is going to be plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. And that is what we have here. Thank you for being part of this class. Remember to hit the subscribe button and share the